Thanks for joining us tonight. A threat to blow up the homes or vehicles of a judge and a prosecutor in Candy, Ohio County has led investigators to a stash of weapons. A search of Chad Monson's house and property uncovered rifles, handguns, machine guns, ammunition, bomb making materials, and drugs. Monson and four others living in the home were arrested. All were booked into the Candy, Ohio County Jail, which is where Angela Davis break, picks up the story, rather. Chadley Monson has spent the last month behind bars here at the Candy, Ohio County Jail. The sheriff here says it is one of the most unusual and concerning cases he's seen in Wilmer. Why are they stockpiling something like that? And, uh, um, yeah, what are we going to do with this stuff? Court papers show Chad Lee Monson told someone he had a plan. He located where a judge, a prosecutor, and another attorney lived and planned to use or plant explosives near their vehicles or homes. When investigators searched Monson's home, they found an arsenal of weapons that included machine guns, 10,000 rounds of ammunition, and even a grenade launcher. The thing to, to us was the amount of fully automatic weapons that were found. So, you know, that, that's a concern because to have a fully automatic weapon, you have to have special permits. And then along with that were the uh, pipe bombs. On February 21st, three weeks after Monson's arrest, a second search warrant was executed here at the site of his excavating business just outside of Wilmer. It was here, inside a shed, that investigators found more weapons, more explosives, and more drugs. The list of what was found here includes pipe bombs with fuses intact, pails containing explosive materials, and various detonators, plus more machine guns. The Minneapolis bomb squad was called in to detonate the explosives. They didn't know how stable it would be, so they just uh, detonated it right there. A judge set Monson's bail at half a million dollars. Meanwhile, investigators are looking into where he purchased all of those illegal weapons and explosives. In Wilmer, Angela Davis, WCCO4 News.